Hi everybody, Dave Matthews for Champion Trading. What we're demonstrating for you today, this is the Freiman V75 deaeration unit. Now it's a small pilot size to laboratory size unit. How the unit basically works, it has a vacuum chamber right here, which has, you see, the Moino pump, a progressive cavity pump connected to it on the bottom. Inside the unit, now this is a spare one, is this disc, which is, which is driven by the motor you see in the center. The product is then sitting inside the hopper and then through the valve, which you see around the back side of it, you, as you open it up, a tube, and I'm going to take this apart and show you when we get to the end of this, uh, comes down, deposits material directly on the spinning disc. This causes the material to flatten out, allowing the vacuum condition to pull all the air bubbles out of the material, then it passes through the screen, down to the tank, and is discharged by the pump. For purposes of the test today, we're using a small um, uh, gas vacuum pump, a small laboratory pump, so it does take a minute to pull vacuum down. We're going to plug it in. Now, we don't have the vacuum on yet. We're going to just, we have a valve on it, so we're going to open that up, and you're going to see right away the vacuum immediately begins climbing. Because it's a small pump, its horsepower limits how much it can do, so it's, it's pulling up eh, about 20, 22 or so inches right now. Um, under operation, there's two switches on this side, magnetic starters. This turns on the small motor here. Now that is spinning the disc during the process. With this closed, you'll maintain vacuum as you open it. The material will be pulled in, de-aerated, and then discharged out by the pump. If you want to come around here, Cam, see underneath the pump. We do have the pump connected. We can't run it too long. We put a small lubricant in the pump. It's a uh, just to keep the stator from wearing uh, too much because it has a rotor stator in the uh, in the pump portion here to pump out thick materials. And to come back around here, we're now pulling about 23 inches of vacuum. larger pump will get you a little bit more. It's as simple, the cover sits on top, it has a large gasket underneath here um, that seals onto the rim of the container of the tank. And we're going to just close the vacuum off and shut that off for a second. And the, you, what the sound you hear is the motor running right here. Now, actually, because the, there's so much vacuum, if I open the valve on the pump, it's actually going to pull vacuum. You can actually hear the pump going. The vacuum is actually causing the pump to run in reverse. So we're going to dump the vacuum so we can show you what's, what's going on inside real fast. And that was just opening the main valve. We're going to disconnect this here. Pull that off. So you can get a look inside. I'm going to shut our main power up for a second. Incidentally, we're operating on 223 phase voltage. Now, a little, little heavy, but two guys can carry it. And if you see inside, there's a small shroud to keep from any splashing happening. That directs the uh, right in the top of it, Tim. You see the that small shroud that uh, that keeps material from splashing too much and causes it to lay down across the spinning plate. Now, also on on the side. Over here, you see we're gonna we added two arrows. As we find with, with a, a loose fitting cover like this, as you start to pull vacuum on it, you may want to just help seat it a little bit so you make sure that um, you are able to pull vacuum. And sometimes you may have to put a little down pressure on the cover just to get it started. And that's basically how it works. Uh, it's a very simple machine. The machine uh, has been the same since the 1970s when it was first invented. And if you buy one today, it's still, it's still the same. Uh, we hope you enjoyed this video. And we do look forward to you visiting our website at www.champtrading.com. We look forward to seeing you. Thanks for joining us today.